Good day, good day everyone and we meet yet again and uh, today we are going to be covering NPK fertilizers. So I'm just going to be looking at uh, the how to calculate the percentage presence and um, the mass of the actual fertilizer in a bag. Okay, so um, if you haven't subscribed, please just do the right thing and welcome to the family. Okay, and uh, uh, hope that you stay and hope you guys are working really hard in making sure that, uh, you know, those prelims, uh, you prepare quite well for the prelims uh, as they are coming. And obviously it's been um, just another different year again. Uh, but I hope that you are still motivated and by the way, by the way, I'm still going to be making sure that I serve you with nothing but good content so that you can get those quality results. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a scenario where we are taking a, suppose we're given a bag, you know, a bag of fertilizer. Okay. And in this bag, what they normally do is that they would give you the percentage presence, okay, or rather the NPK ratio. So let's say they give us a ratio of 3, 2, and 5, okay, and next to it there's that number there in brackets, which is 40. So uh, usually, what does this actually, uh, what does this all mean, right? So uh, as you would rightfully know, this is the NPK ratio. And by the way, uh, if you don't know anything about this, it means that you might have missed the lesson that I produced before this one. Okay, on fertilizers, just please refer back to that lesson and you should be sorted in terms of your knowledge on fertilizers, right? So, um, obviously now this means that this is the ratio, the N, P and K. So this is the percentage or the ratio of nitrogen, the ratio of phosphorus, the ratio of potassium, right? Now the number in brackets uh, just simply means this is the percentage presence of the fertilizer. Suppose we say this is a, a 12 kilogram bag, okay? So let's say this is a 12 kilogram bag of fertilizer. Uh, you go and buy it from the shop and it's 12 kilograms. And in this case, we want to know what is the uh, amount of nitrogen that is in there. And that's the first thing that I'm going to show you there. Right. How do we calculate the percentage presence of nitrogen? So all you simply do, ladies and gents, uh, is that you say the percentage presence of nitrogen. Now, which ratio has to do with the, uh, with nitrogen? You simply take. So this means this is the nitrogen. This is the phosphorus. This is the potassium. So you t simply take the ratio that is um, that is meant for nitrogen. That's three, okay, divided by the sum of your NPK ratio. So that's three plus two plus five. That will give me ten, right? Divide uh, multiplied rather uh, by the percentage presence of the fertilizer. So I'm going to multiply that by forty. So. Please remember, you take the ratio uh, of the one that you want. So we want nitrogen. So you take the ratio of nitrogen, which is 3, divided by the sum, 3 plus 2 plus 5, that gave us 10, multiplied by the percentage presence of the fertilizer. Okay, right, very quickly. So this is going to be 0 0.3 times 12, uh, uh, sorry, uh, times 40. Okay, and I get a value of 12. OK, now I want you to please note this is 12 percent. So it means that in this bag of fertilizer, this bag is composed of 12 percent nitrogen. OK, right now, obviously, if I wanted to get the one for phosphorus, OK, uh, now that's going to be very quick. That's going to be two divided by by 10 multiplied by 40. Now you see where this is all going, right? Okay, so uh, in this case, you can say 40 divided by 10, that's 4. And in this particular case, what are we going to get? Okay, uh, so we get 8%. Okay, and notice once again, if I want the percentage of uh, phosph uh, potassium, rather, okay, the percentage of potassium, right? That's our K. Obviously, we're going to say 5 divided by the sum of them, which is 10, multiplied by 40, 
and in this case uh, you are going to get 20 okay now there's something very special that i want you to see uh, because when they ask you these questions in another way there are there are particular things that you're supposed to note please i want you to always remember that the percentage or uh, the npk ratio percentage right okay so when i take the percentage of nitrogen plus that of uh, phosphorus plus that of potassium notice that when they when i add them they give me that value there of the percentage presence of fertilizer in the bag and by the way what does that number actually mean what it simply means is that 40 percent of this 12 kilograms is actually the fertilizer okay now you may wonder to yourself okay so if only 40 percent is fertilizer what is the rest okay the rest is uh are stabilizers like sand okay obviously you want to make sure that your uh, your fertilizer doesn't run off uh, with water as you water your, your your garden and so on so what they do is that they mix it with sand and stones okay uh, just to make sure that it becomes stable okay so as a result it means that only 40 percent of the fertile of this bag of this 12 kg composes of the actual fertilizer okay right now um what they may also ask us is how then do i calculate the mass the actual mass of nitrogen in this bag right so all you simply do to calculate the mass let's say we want to find the mass of nitrogen remember all that they have given us at the moment was the uh, the mass of the bag the total mass of the bag so now i know that only 12 percent okay of this total bag is fertilizer so if i want the mass of nitrogen in this bag all i'm simply going to do is i'm going to take the percentage presence of nitrogen right so this is going to be 12 now remember if i say 12 percent that's the same as saying 12 divided by 100 percent okay uh, remember that uh, cent has to do with the hundredth, right? Right, so uh, that's 12. So I take the percentage presence, right? And I multiply it by the mass of the bag. So the total mass of the bag in this case was uh, 12 as well, okay? So in this case, what do I have as my actual bag, okay? So this is going to be 0 0.12, that's 12 divided by 100, multiplied by 12, and you should get 1.44 kilograms. So it means of this bag, 1.44 kilograms of it is actually made of nitrogen, okay? Now, if you would remember uh, in this case, um, uh, and I'm going to show you a contrast just now so that you be, you, you be careful when you pick a fertilizer, right? So uh, what you do is when you choose a fertilizer, you must actually be able to determine just how much of the content of the actual nutrient that you want is, right? Uh, because sometimes you may find a ratio that differs, all right? Uh, and it at face value it may, it may appear uh, that the one is bigger than the other but uh, it isn't so i'm, I'm going to show you an example in just a few okay so in this case what do i have uh, if i want the percent the mass of nitrogen there's 12 divided by 100 so now if i wanted to get the mass of uh, um, phosphorus okay so obviously what am i going to do the percentage of phosphorus was 8 divided by 100 and you still multiply by that 12 okay and you will get that value there right uh, obviously now you can find out for yourself what would be the mass of okay you can just find that value there and then you can find the value of uh, potassium uh, you should tell me what that mass is you can just throw in a comment there to give me the value of that um uh, uh, the value of that potassium uh, content there in kilograms right now what i want to do quickly is just to show you and then perhaps what i'll do is that i'll just take a calculation uh, that you can do together okay okay so suppose that we've got uh, these two bags of fertilizers right 
And let's say our problem is that our grass is really brown and, you know, we want to improve the quality of, uh, you know, the, uh, the greenness of our grass, right? So obviously you would need a fertilizer there uh, that would have... Uh, that would help the grass grow greener, right? Now, if you remember what I said in the previous video, so if you wanted something that would help uh, in this case with the process of, uh, uh, you know, of, of, you know, just making the grass greener, you would actually pick a fertilizer that has a lot of nitrogen content, isn't it? Uh, because obviously the nitrogen uh, does help in that. Okay. So now... Um, um, you know, because obviously uh, 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 grass has got these leaves, you know, these little leaves that kind of show up. Uh, and in this case, they depend on the process of photosynthesis, right? So now if you think about it, how are we going to calculate here? Uh, or how are we going to see which fertilizer? So you get into a shop, you find these two fertilizer bags and you want to know, well, which bag am I going to take, Right. OK, so when you look at this at face value, you think to yourself, ah, but there it is. I've got a, a fertilizer that has got a nitrogen, which is five and this one is three. Well, uh, as they would say in Afrikaans, opas, <laughs> be careful. OK, so in this case, please just make sure uh, that, um, you know, you, you, you just you don't jump into it, into that decision. So how are, exactly are we going to make that decision? Now, let's check. Let's check the content of nitrogen in each bag, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, what's the percentage presence of nitrogen in this bag? Well, I'm going to say this is four, uh, sorry, five. OK, so I'm going to take the, uh, the ratio of nitrogen divided by the sum of all of them. So the sum of my ratios. So that's five plus three plus four. OK, so that would give me 12. OK, and multiply that by 24. Remember, that's the percentage presence of fertilizer, right? OK, um, well, I seem to get a value of 10 percent. So it means 10 percent of this bag is actually nitrogen. OK, now let's look at this one. Um, if I were to get the percentage presence of this one, OK, so the percentage of nitrogen, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to say three, OK, divided by the sum of all of them. Right. So that's three plus two plus one, which will give me six. Right. Multiply in this case by 30. Right. And you'll see that you get a value of 15 percent. Now, the question is, which one has got a higher content of nitrogen? OK. Clearly, it's going to be this one, right? Why is that? Because, well, the masses are the same, okay? If you wanted to calculate it at mass level, you can still do that, right? Uh, if you wanted to get the actual mass of the fertilizer, so uh, you'd say, well, the mass of nitrogen, this would simply be 10 divided by 100, and you multiply that by 12, okay? So in this case, uh, I believe 10%, uh, that would be 1.2 kilograms right and whereas uh, for the other one if you wanted 15 percent of 12 okay so um so let's say 15 divided by 100 okay multiplied by 12 and you should be able to get 1.8 kilograms so the mass here has is 1.8 kilograms now if you just went with it at face value it almost seemed like when you look at this one it has a higher content of nitrogen uh, than that one so it's very important for us to note okay when we make that decision we have to note uh, um, uh, you know from empirical evidence actually uh, which one is correct to take okay so i hope that you um, uh, understood this lesson you enjoyed it okay so next time when i see you uh, we'll do some past exam questions you know on the like uh, uh, on uh, fertilizers and please just look out in the next um uh, episodes i'll actually be posting just small anyana questions 
on uh, you know those kind of difficult questions to do i'll call that the exam uh, the the, uh, uh, the rather the revision series okay so in that revision series i'll just be taking questions at random okay uh, some of the questions that you guys send me okay i'll try to address them in that series and i'll just make sure that i continue to give you guys good content all right that can help you as you prepare towards your exam otherwise from me for now thank you and please don't forget to subscribe and just hit that thumbs up button to say you like this lesson otherwise i'll see you guys next time thank you sharp sharp